Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Deuterium Tech. So, last night, my computer decided to update. And there's nothing I can do about it, so I just let it update. But then, it encountered a blue screen while updating. Actually, I don't know at which point of the update it happened because I just turned off the monitor because I didn't want to watch it. And now, it won't turn on. This is what happens to it right now. It turns on a bit and then stops immediately. So, if you're experiencing this kind of problem, first thing you need to look at is if your motherboard has this what you call uh, debugging LEDs. So, uh, you see those LEDs? This one. Let me point at it. Those ones. Those are going to give you the clue, a clue on what the problem might be. Uh, other motherboards don't have this, but they have those speaker things. Those small speaker things, they release a tone or they create a tone that would give an, you that would give you an idea on what the problem is. So check your manual. In my case, this is an MSI uh, B250M mortar. Yeah, I think this is an, uh, let me just check it and I'll show the screen what motherboard this is. But, oh, and <clears throat> when you look at the manual, look for the, what those uh, LEDs mean. In my case, it's like this. Now, uh, let's assume you have an LED, those uh, debug LEDs. This is pretty common for gaming motherboards. So if you have a gaming motherboard, it's likely have this one. So just check the manual, check what the lights mean. So the topmost is CPU, second DRAM, third is VGA, and fourth is boot. Make sure that uh, the orientation of the motherboard is the same as when you're looking at it. So uh, RAM on the left, RAM on the right, CPU on the left, I/O. CPU on the left, I mean CPU in the center, I/O on the left. So it's the same. So we know that the orientation is the same as well. RAM, CPU, I/O. Now, let's investigate more. It stops at the second LED and then restarts. So the second LED is the DRAM. Now. What the manual says is that it will stay lit, but in my case, it just goes back. But it's still a good um, clue as to what the problem is. What we're going to do right now is to reseat RAM. Reseating the RAM is just like taking everything out and putting them back in again. So to do that, we have to shut this down, make sure it doesn't turn on again. It won't. So in that case, we just flip the power supply off. Now it would stop doing that. I mean, stop turning on because you don't want the computer to, you know, turn on and off while you're removing the RAM. So there's supposed to be a knob here. There. Flip that and then pull it out. So before we put them back in, let's try turning this thing on and see if anything changes. I mean, obviously it won't turn on, but we want to see if the error code would change. It gets stuck in the uh, DRAM LED. So I think the motherboard is good. The BIOS is good. It's just the RAM that, that, that's problematic. Hopefully my RAM sticks aren't busted. Now we just have to put them back in. And it's back to life. So that's one way you can tackle this problem. But of course, if a computer won't turn on, it's not always the same reason. You have to check what kind of clues the computer gives you. In my case, I have a debug LED. That helps. If you have the small speakers, that would also help. You just have to search or Google if you have a manual. It's in the manual. The error codes, the, it, it produces a sound like a beep, beep. Long beep, short beep, sort of like a Morse code. So you have to check what that means and then try to figure out what the problem is. So uh, RAM is fairly durable. It's not the first thing that would fail in the system. Though it could fail, but the uh, first thing you can do is to like just reset it. it reset it. Reseating means you take them off and then you put them back in. And try to turn on the computer. Now let's see if I will have display in this thing. We decided to shut it off. That's bad. I know I have my cable connected. Hmm. Strange. 
no display. I thought this video was already done. Alright, so I also noticed something. My very, very clean keyboard doesn't power on. No LEDs. This thing has an LED. I mean, it has L it is LED backlit. That's what I mean. No LEDs. It's still plugged to my computer. It's plugged here, but nothing's happening. Indicative of another problem that we didn't get the first time. Anyway, I removed my second display. Just kept the one that is attached to the graphics card. My keyboard is already plugged at the back so we can rule out the front panel I.O. This front panel to be the problem. I think the motherboard is borked. I'm thinking of resetting the CMOS. And yeah, that's one thing we can do. Another thing is we can reseat the graphics card or actually completely remove it for now. Let's start with the easy one because I don't know where the CMOS is. Let's remove the graphics card. Ouch. Alright, so already restarted it. Remove the graphics card. Still there's no signal. My my keyboard still doesn't light up. There's a bigger problem that's happening here. Alright, so I already removed the CMOS battery. It's dirty. I'll clean it a bit. There. Let's see if that works. Still no display. That's not the problem, is it? Okay, so I removed my RAM again. I'm gonna put them back in. Hopefully we just didn't put it back in the first time properly. Next thing I think we can do is to reconnect, re-plug the power cables for the CPU and for the motherboard. After that, uh, hope it already gets fixed. Alright, so I put them back in. Let's see. No LED on my mouse, which already plugged in as well. No LED on my keyboard and no display. What the heck happened here? Okay, removed the ATX power supply, that cable, and nothing changed. Still no display. I think we'll have to try changing the power supply, but I don't have time for it right now. Third one RAM stick. This is the proper slot. Okay. Now let's see. Still nothing from my motherboard, I mean from my keyboard. Actually, it lit up again. Finally. So indeed, RAM was the problem. Now, let's check if there's going to be any display in this thing. There's no display. Ah, that's annoying. I think I have to put the graphics card back in again. Not sure why, but this should work. Alright, we're back in business. Now remember, I shut this down after the update of Windows failed, so I'm not sure if it's still going to boot in Windows 10. Oh, very good, very good. Now we just have to let this run, and hopefully, I could use my computer again. What? in the world happened here this is weird already got a notification that okay i got a notification that it logged in i mean i have team viewer in my computer so if it turns on i will see it anywhere i have team viewer running that it's logged in it already notified me that this computer logged in Alright, I guess that's just Windows loading up. So the next thing that I need to do is to put all of the RAM sticks back in and then see if it boots up again. Okay, so next, just to be 100% sure, I'm gonna stick another... I'm not gonna stick all the rest of the RAM sticks here. I'm gonna stick another RAM stick here. Uh, if you're trying this on motherboards with four slots or even two slots there is some sort of sequence in which for example in this one this is the if you're just going to stick one stick of ram you're going to install one stick of ram you have to put it in the second slot now the second stick of ram i have to install it in the fourth slot 
and then the third and fourth should be installed in the first and third. Some motherboards have a different sequence, so you have to check your manual because if you stick it in the wrong slot, it won't work. In some motherboards, it won't work. Okay, so already cleaned it. I'm gonna install it right now. Okay, now let's turn it on. Keyboard slip, which means that it worked. There's our display. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. It's not loading. It's not getting past the BIOS for some reason. And it's back. Maybe that RAM is the problematic RAM? I'm gonna remove it and replace it with another one. Okay, so it booted up, got into the OS, OS. I replaced the RAM stick on the right. I'm not sure if it's, if it's the RAM that's problematic or I just didn't clean it properly. In any case, the next thing we're going to do is we're, we're going to plug in the rest of the RAM sticks. And of course, we're going to clean it. I decided I think I have, I have to start using alcohol to clean the uh, contacts. Okay, so I'm going to go with the tissue with... Okay, I'm going to go with the tissue and alcohol method for now all right now i have the rest of the ram sticks installed let's see if it would work no light on our keyboard all right i think the one of the ram sticks is really bored okay didn't notice that looks like yeah something's wrong with the ram still okay so remove the ram stick put it back in of course i cleaned it before i put it back in so i'm sure that it's 100 percent clean now, it still wouldn't turn on. Then I removed it again and then I checked the contacts. There's dirt. So, what this tells me is that my DIMM slot, my RAM slot, is dirty. So, I guess that's the one that I should be cleaning. Okay, so I've made this uh, modified cleaning thing, like a Q-tip, because the slot is very thin. I need to be able to reach in there, so hopefully this would fit. Uh, there's dirt. Okay, it has to be thinner. Okay, look at that, it's dirty. Alright, so I cleaned the RAM stick again, and now I'm going to put it back in. Hopefully that works. Okay, it did not. The debug LED is still getting stuck at the RAM. It has been hours, and I think I know now the problem. Well, not exactly the problem, but what triggers the problem? Well, it seems that my motherboard would not boot, would not post, when there are four RAM sticks installed in my DIMM slots. Every time I put four in there, it would just no display, wouldn't post. But when I remove one anywhere, from any DIMM slot, it would post, it would load the OS. So I'm not sure how to fix this, but I have an idea. I finally got it to work. Finally, after hours and hours and hours of trying different things, I finally, finally found the problem. My RAM's broken. It appears it won't work in dual channel anymore for some reason, because if I, these are the dual channel uh, pair, dual channel pair, if I swap them, then this uh, slot would now not work and the other slot would work. I put there my old, uh, yeah. did I already say what RAM is that? Yeah, 4 GB HyperX RAM, Kingston HyperX RAM. Now it works properly. There's your display. There's your LED on the keyboard. I just have to find where my other shift key went and I'm good to go. So yeah, that's how a Windows update broke my computer specifically my RAM anyway if it, maybe you have an idea how to fix this how to deal with this because I'm not I don't believe that this thing is broken maybe there's some settings some memory I already cleared the CMOS and everything maybe there's something else I can do let me know in the comments if you have any idea what else I can do here so that I could use my uh, the proper RAM for this computer because uh, this that RAM, that HyperX RAM, does not pair with this, obviously. 
this has to go this has to pair with that so that the dual channel would work and in any case thank you guys for watching hit like if you like this video and don't forget oh my gosh i fixed it so this is what i did to fix it i really thought one of my ram sticks is broken so if you remember the last clip i showed you is the ram stick here if i put the ram stick here it fails to boot up even it fails to post so i'll ha i had to just use this this and this slot and put a different ram here so i tried it again put back the old ram i mean my uh ram from this set and still wouldn't boot up then i swap uh this ram stick the, the one that was here before i put the one that was here before to here and the one that i removed to here and lo and behold it ran it's weird right so i guess the takeaway for this experience is that if you're having problems with ram you have to swap your um the slots where you put your ram sticks you try every combination that you can think of that i mean every combination that's possible so that you could like rule out that the problem is just your motherboard acting weird or something in any case thank you for watching i think this is going to be a long video i haven't edited anything yet and yeah thank you for watching hit like if you like this video dislike if you dislike it let me know in the comments what you think i hope this helps someone out there who's having troubles with their ram sticks or with getting their computer to turn on